31. Welcome to example four. We're going to expand this binomial. We've got a power of four here, or an exponent of four. So let's, let's take a look at um, Pascal's triangle. I've got to build up to the fourth level. So this is zeroth level, one, a first level. Here comes the second level. I got to go at least third. Well, not at least, I got to go to the third. And then I got to go to the fourth. All right, there are my coefficients, one, four, six, four, one. Now let me put this off in a little bubble. All right, and you'll get to the point where you have the first few levels of this memorized because they pop up so often. All right, so let's start expanding. I'm gonna start with a coefficient of one. I'm gonna take the first term of my binomial, raise it to the fourth power. I'm going to take the second term in, bi in my binomial, which is negative n, all right? So make sure you're seeing anytime you have a subtraction sign, right? This is technically plus a negative. So the first term in my binomial is m over 3, and the second term is negative n. So be careful with that. But at any rate, first term raised to the fourth power, second term raised to the zeroth power. All right, let's get the next few terms. We've got a 4 here. I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, I'm going to decrease the power on m over 3, but I'm going to increase the power on negative n. All right, my next coefficient is a 6. I'm going to decrease the power on m over 3, and again, increase the power on negative n. My next coefficient is a 4. All right, we're now looking at m over 3 to the first power and negative n to the third power. And then last but not least, we have a one. I've got m over three to the zeroth power and negative n to the fourth. And again, I'm just gonna do a quick check and make sure that all of my exponents are adding up to four. So four plus zero, three, one, two, two, one, three, zero, four. All right, so, so that's looking good. Okay, so we got that going on here, okay? So let's take a look at simplifying this. All right, so we're gonna go with, this is gonna be m to the fourth over, well, three to the fourth is 81, and this term's gonna go away, all right? So we will have a four here, m cubed is m cubed, three cubed is 27 times a negative n, okay? plus a six times, well this will be m squared over nine times n squared. And then we've got four. This is just gonna be times m over three and this is going to be negative n cubed. And then last but not least, when we have negative n to the fourth, that's just gonna be ultimately positive n to the fourth as we're coming out of that, all right? So we've got all of that happening here. Now let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. So we've got m to the fourth over 81 that I don't need to do anything to. Okay, so this is gonna be minus 4m cubed n over 27. This will be plus ultimately 6m squared n squared over nine. And this will be a minus 4m n cubed over three plus n to the fourth, okay? So that's one way to write it. Um, I'm just gonna pull a little or. If you want, you can pull the coefficients out in front. You can say this is one over 81 times m to the fourth minus four 27 m cubed n. Ah, here are six ninths. I can actually simplify that to two thirds m squared n squared minus four thirds m n cubed plus n to the fourth. And I, I, for me personally, I think I probably like that version better, but they're both fine. They're both fine with the exception that I'm just now seeing six ninths can be simplified. So we would need to reduce this here and rewrite this with a two in the numerator and a three in the denominator. All right. And let's just check, did the powers of m descend? So we had four, three, two, one, zero, great. How about n? n was zero, one, two, three, four, so great. So I've got my binomial expansion and 
using the binomial theorem in combo with Pascal's triangle makes this whole process faster. And I'm not saying it's fast, but it's a lot faster than if you multiply this out one binomial expansion at a time. It's a lot faster than if you used the, um, the binomial coefficient formula of n choose r to get these coefficients. Pascal's triangle is faster, right? And again, we're using binomial theorem to tell us that the power or the exponent on that first term decreases and the exponent on that second term increases. So with all of that in combo, we can expand binomials relatively quickly now. All right, so with that, we're gonna take a look at not expanding an entire binomial, but finding a specific term in a binomial expansion. That's coming next, and that will be our last example, at least in this, in this chapter. All right, I will see you in a few. Thanks, bye.